Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. So in today's video, we have a roster update. So the Washington football team released tight end Nick Gugamus and cornerback Greg Stroman. So now there are 85 players on their roster, which is what they needed to do by 4 p.m. today. So we'll talk about that and a Kyle Allen injury update. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content. I'm so close to 6,000 subscribers. Please help me get there. Also hit that like button and turn on those notifications. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so this will be a quick video for you guys, and I will be streaming today around 6.30 with Tay and Todd podcast, you know, kind of previewing the preseason game against the Bengals this week and kind of talking about what has happened in the last week with the Washington football team. So we all knew the Washington football team needed to get down to 85 players on the roster by 4 p.m. today, and they, they have done that. There are 85 uh, players after they released tight end Nick Gugamus and cornerback Greg Stroman, although, you know, David Bott is on the roster, which is an 86th player, but because he's part of the International Pathway Program, he does not count against the roster. Um, also, David Sharp is on the reserve list, so once he is off that list, he will, you know, we'll have to cut someone else, and he should be off of that list soon because he's been there for like two plus weeks and I think he's been working on the side for a little bit so that's going to be an interesting development right there but you know Nick Gugamus really nothing too big right there we signed him about like a week ago maybe 10 days ago um, as you know the fifth or sixth tight end on uh, the roster I don't even think he played in the preseason game so that's really nothing they they had to get down um, to 85 and he's one of the players that they were willing to go down uh, to get down to and then Greg Stroman, the other guy, he was put on the pup list um, before training camp started. And, you know, it's unfortunate with Greg Stroman. He had some potential, um, you know, seventh round pick in 2018 and just really had a solid rookie year. Uh, I think he started in 10 games or no, started in like three games, but played in 15 games, had an interception, 34 total tackles was, you know, he was solid. Um, and he also was able to, you know, do some punt returns and kick returns, I believe. And then he just couldn't, you know, stay healthy. 2019 played one game and, you know, surprisingly, he made Washington's roster in 2020 with a whole new coaching staff, with a whole new regime. He was still able to make the roster, but still battled, battled with injuries and just couldn't stay healthy which is really unfortunate for him. Hopefully he's able to land somewhere else and really just stay healthy and he'll, you know, eventually hopefully be able to be a solid player in the NFL. Also had a forced fumble in his rookie year and like I said, did some kick returning and punt returning, even did some punt returning for us last year. Uh, that Yeah, and they did release him with an injury designation, so I'm not sure completely how that works, but they might be able to still keep him after week seven if they do need to do that i'm not completely sure a couple other important things to note um washington there's a couple more deadlines they need to get to down to 80 players by august 24th which is exactly a week from today so next tuesday they're gonna have to cut five more players of uh, six if you you know include david sharp because he's still once they put them on the active roster, they're going to have to cut someone. So, I mean, some of these guys in this, you know, on the back end of the roster, you know, 80 through 86 or 75 through 85, whatever, they're going to be battling for roster spots, especially in the preseason game. So, like, the, that last quarter is going to be really important for some of these guys to see if they end up making this roster or not. So, keep those dates in mind, August 24th. You cut down to 80 and then a huge, huge, you know, drop off from 80 to 53 the next week after that. Once the preseason is over, that's going to be a big, big drop off in players. So a quick, you know, injury update on Kyle Allen and a couple other things that we'll talk about before we end the video. It is a quick one, but, you know, today they did have practice. Nothing really happened um, in today's practice. It wasn't padded. Um, not too much reporting on it, but Kyle Allen is expected to play 
on Friday uh, against the Bengals. So that's good news to hear right there because, you know, he is a good backup and, you know, he might be a third stringer here, but still it is good to have because we all know Washington's quarterback situation in the last few years. They've always been, you know, needing to play other quarterbacks. Hopefully it doesn't happen this year, but if it does, we have two capable backups in Taylor Heineke and Kyle Allen. And I want to see, you know, he's going to probably get the third uh, you know, we'll see. Fitzpatrick will probably play the first quarter, and then Heineke will likely play maybe a quarter, a quarter and a half, and then um, same thing with Kyle Allen. I want to see how the third team does, you know, the third team receivers, how they do with Kyle Allen, or even the second team ones, like with AGG and other guys, because these receivers are still battling. I mean, AGG, Dax Milne, DeAndre Carter, Steven Sims, they're all battling for that last receiver spot. Maybe they keep seven. I doubt it at this point. I think they will keep six. So they're really going to be battling. We will see who ends up making it. And, you know, Steven Montez, apparently, now that Kyle Allen is back, isn't getting that many reps in practice at quarterback. So um, we'll see if he even gets in in the game. He'll probably get, you know, maybe a possession or two if, you know, um, everyone plays. So we'll see about that. So let me know what you guys think about Washington releasing Greg Stroman and who do you think the next players will be that they have to release by next Tuesday and make sure again to check out the live stream that I'm going to be doing today at around 6 30. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. Peace.